Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I am working as AWS Cloud Architect Solution Engineer and as well as Automation Engineer. Today I am going to show you how you can use the Terraform Remote Exec Provisioner. Uh, these provisioner work like uh, similar to AWS, uh, sorry, Ansible, uh, which do not use any. Uh, agent so we are going to simply use the SSH and through SSH uh, it is very powerful I'm going to uh, run my bash script I'm going to show you this bash script uh, this is the bash script uh, currently what I've done I have uh, uh, deployed the EC2 instance uh, via my Terraform script for uh, deployment of EC2 instances and VPCs and other stuff you can watch my previous videos so I'm going to uh, only show in this video regarding the powerful Terraform remote exec provisioners and their functionality is similar like to Ansible uh, and this is the IP address of the uh, currently deployed instance so if I am going to refresh you will see nothing uh, because uh, currently uh, the instance is already deployed and mm, there is no Apache running in it and there is no uh, script um, for this demo purpose uh, I have just deployed the uh, STPT HTTPD server and um, my bash script so I just want to show you the code as well this code um, is available on my github repository and if I show you the code this is the simple code and um, if I also can use the module EC2 modules uh, with this as well for instance if I uh, I wanna deploy this code on let's say about 100 servers or 200 servers and depend uh, on your infrastructure uh, this code or configuration will be deployed on those servers so uh, why I'm editing is uh, this because I have to put the IP address in the host section and you will see uh, the code will be deployed and if I do less and this is the resource we are going to uh, deploy this is the null resource and I'm going to deploy with this command terraform apply this target resource type is null logical name is this so uh, you see uh, uh, nothing changed let me show you let me check it again yes um, I've checked the issue the issue was I've uh, deployed in my previous um, setup so what I'm going to do is to initialize initialize this one again and I'm going to use the code again it is uh, going to add one resource you see currently if I refresh nothing is here so I'm going to say yes it is provisioning and it is uh, creating you see one resource added uh, let's say I'm going to refresh it uh, you will see the uh, STPD yes it is working fine so and this is the remote provisioner I want to show you guys um, 
this is very powerful and it uh, give you uh, similar sort of functionality like ansible so um, things that um, I don't want to say that you, you should not use ansible you can use both uh, with the terraform and everything um, with the terraform and with these provisional you can also use ansible as well but uh, remote exact provision as I show you guys you can run big bash scripts uh, in a way that with regard to the configurations uh, you wanna do and deploy on your AWS uh, infrastructure and uh, this is very powerful stuff um, by using Terraform remote exec provisioners thank you for watching please like and share my videos thank you